If you're tired of creating goals you never achieve, you've come to the right place. If you're someone who quickly jumps to the next new shiny object and just simply wonders, why don't I have the discipline to stay with something long enough to get it done? I'm here to answer that question. The reason may not be what you think. Today, I wanna to get to the bottom of that. Let's dive in. Most people I know are great starters, but horrible finishers. They quickly gravitate towards the next new shiny object and they never finish what they previously started. I know this all too well because that person is me. I'm an idea guy. My brain operates like a popcorn machine with a ton of great ideas and those ideas generate excitement. If I'm not careful, I can quickly get pulled into the vortex of exploration which often takes me off track from my initial intentions. So today I'm gonna to give you the simple way that I have found personally to finally break that log jam, to avoid the temptation of that shiny new object and finally achieve any goal you set for yourself. And I can guarantee you this, that it's not what you're thinking or not, at least not what you've been taught to believe. See, I, like you, am ashamed to admit that I bought way too many books, support tools, and programs on goal setting that kind of sort of work, and they sort of work for maybe a little bit, but they never last. So I wanna share with you the one thing that I have found to be sustainable over the long haul. And when I say long haul, I'm not referring to like this month, this quarter, or even this year. I'm talking about a routine that I have mastered now for almost two decades so I know personally that it works, and guess what? It's so freaking simple, yet most leaders don't do it, or at least not consistently. See, most leaders tell me they lack discipline. They intellectually know what to do, but struggle to actually do it. So let me tell you what I tell them. The good news is that you intellectually know what to do. I mean, that in itself puts you further ahead than most people. The bad news is not that you lack the discipline to do it. It's that you are using a lack of discipline as an excuse. You know it and I know it. Again, I'm saying this because that used to be me. So trust me, I get it. It's time we change that. I believe in the power of the universe. And you are here right now listening to this for a reason. You are being called higher. You are being asked to finally shed some of those faults and limiting beliefs that you have been carrying around that are not serving you well. Here's the cool part. What I'm about to share with you is not difficult. It doesn't require a ton of work. And best of all, you will experience results quickly, which will make you look forward to repeating it on a regular basis. The advice I give every leader is this. Start every day with time for yourself. What you do first sets the tone for the rest of the day and the rest of your life. I call this my morning leadership ritual and I believe every leader needs to have one. See, earlier in my career, I didn't have one. Right, The very first thing I did over a cup of coffee was check email. Inevitably, I became consumed by something. The next thing I knew, I was rushing to take a shower and get out the door and it just felt like, like I hit every red light on the way to work. And the rest of my day was much the same. I would often find myself like hurrying or, or getting irritated by the smallest of obstacles. Here's what I learned. If I want a different experience, I must do things differently. I also learned that when you consciously make quiet time a priority, amazing things happen. Like simply priorities crystallize, solutions emerge, and your energy level skyrockets. Not only did I benefit from this routine, but those I interacted with and led also benefited. I want you to have the same experience. I want you to get the same three benefits that I've gotten. I encourage you to leverage your morning routine to first express gratitude for the gifts, opportunities, and people that grace your path. I mean, gratitude is a blessing. Think about that for a second. This is an opportunity to tune into the synchronicity of the universe, the, the, the synchronicity of the universe working on your behalf. 
I mean, take a few minutes and just think about all the challenges in front of you and then examine the previous 24 hours. Who in the last 24 hours made your journey a little easier? What happened or didn't happen that is actually paving the way for your success? Next, raise your awareness to the triggers that cause you to leak energy. What energy vampires showed up at your door yesterday? What did you get distracted from, right? That, that, from the things that you wanted to accomplish? See, awareness, like gratitude, is a blessing. If you want to achieve more, you have to raise your awareness of the people, events, and self-imposed limitations that pull you in the opposite direction and then put safeguards in place to limit their ability to derail your focus. Lastly, your morning leadership ritual is a time to clear your mind for the day ahead and focus on what is truly important. This is an opportunity to refuel your energy, reconnect spiritually, and strengthen the inner leader so you can perform at extraordinary levels throughout the day. This is where you give yourself the poetic license to incubate new ideas and work those ideas into your already existing goals and intentions. See, we've been taught to believe that having a this or that mentality, an either or mentality, right, that only causes more pain and suffering. The best time that I found to review new ideas is when my mind is clear. For me, my morning solitude gives me a time to reflect on a new idea, determine if it's a distraction or explore a potential both and approach. See, I don't want, like you, new ideas to distract my focus, but I also don't want to, uh, to limit what could be. Maybe if I remain open to a new idea, it's not something that's intended to, to distract my focus, but instead a way to make my initial idea even better. Woo, right? This is a time in the morning to determine that. Do you see the context switch here? That's the power of ease and grace. I will admit that when my mentor encouraged me to make time every morning to sit quietly and reflect, I was like, yeah, right. I, I basically kicked and screamed. Much like you, my response was, I don't have time for that. Since I wake up most days around 5.30, I decide to make a conscious decision, conscious decision to rededicate that time to me. Time for writing, time for reading, time for time to exercise, which recharged my energy. Initially, I told myself I wouldn't check email before 7 a.m. I later made a renewed commitment to not check email before 8 a.m. Here's what I learned. There's nothing that's that important that can't wait until 8.05. Seriously, think about that. With practice, I discovered this exhilarating power created from morning quiet time. Time to think about what I'm doing, reflect upon how I'm doing it, evaluate what is important, review where my time is and energy are best spent and with whom. Whew, this daily discipline alone worked miracles for my career and helped every area of my life. In fact, I will credit this one habit with turning my life around and helping me achieve the business success that I've had today and allowing me to become the man I am, I am. I mean, one of my clients, this is, this is like so awesome. One of my clients in my inner circle mastermind called me the other day and, and was all excited. He told me, he was like, he finally started doing what I've been talking about, this real simple routine of starting his, his day with time for himself and how it completely changed everything for him. Like, I love that phone call. He had more energy, he was more focused, and was able to limit distractions and got more done than he thought possible. Now imagine if you had the same experience. How much more effective do you believe you would be? If you want to lead others, you must first master leading yourself. My advice, start small and work your way up. My morning leadership ritual is the number one thing I look forward to each day. I literally will pull myself out of bed because I know just how powerful this one routine is. Talk about game changers? This is it. It's that simple. I encourage you to examine how you begin your day. Notice your current routine doesn't include, most likely, the three strides I just talked about. If you want a different experience, you too have to do things differently. I would recommend Without question, dedicating the first hour of every day to yourself. Call this your new leadership ritual. If you want to become a leader others want to follow, you need a morning leadership ritual. If you want to refuel your energy so you can perform at extraordinary levels during the day, you need a morning leadership ritual. 
If you want to achieve any goal you set for yourself, the simplest way to accomplish that task is to have a morning leadership ritual. You intellectually know that what I'm saying is true. Make this the moment right here, right now, that you stop making a lack of discipline an excuse. If you want help to finally break this logjam, follow the links in the description to book an exploratory call or get my Power Week Power Life System where I talk, where I walk, actually walk people through the details of creating a morning leadership ritual and how to create a weekly flight plan to get the right stuff done in less time so you have more time for yourself. If you're not ready for that kind of help, let me at least buy you a copy of my book, Freedom to Experiment, how to ignite a new level of energy, focus, and momentum in yourself and your team. Follow the link in the description, and I will also personally sign a copy for you. Okay, if you like what I shared today, do me a favor, give it a like, right? Share a comment below related to your business, and of course, subscribe, because each week I'm sharing content to help you and your team Embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Remember this, you're just one idea away.